today I have a special gift for you. Now, working the gates is an internal discipline. It's all about awareness, different levels of awareness, moving between those levels of awareness, shifting awareness, okay? That we already know. But there's a deeper side to the gates than what I've exposed you to so far, and I've saved it to this point for a specific reason. Um, so, to begin, um, for me, and I suggest it for you if you're sincere about pursuing these gates and this work, this type of work um, with the Tree of Life, is I place the Tree of Life in my body. I am this image right behind us. This is me looking out at you. So, I place myself in the picture looking out, or in other words, I back into the image. So, Kather, Hokma, Bina, Tiferet, Gedula, Gebura, Yesod, Netzach, Hog, Malkuth. I place it all in my body. Now, this isn't to infer that these that it actually exists in the human body, that's a complete misnomer. That's simply, it's simply a, a mnemonic a, a device, you know, a memory aid, a learning aid, um, so that whenever I make that shift from Kether to Hokma, I think of this movement. And when I think of that movement in my body, my awareness shifts from Kether to Hogma. The two are tied together. So I'm always, you know, placing these movements of awareness, relating them to my body. This is a very good discipline, and I highly recommend it. Now, but it always have to remember that this isn't a spatial orientation. This is about consciousness, about awareness. It's not about locations in my body. Or really even these spatial orientations of Kether above, Malkuth below. Consciousness is lateral, okay? It's not hierarchical. But we use the hierarchical model, which remember is a human construct, we use the hierarchical model to learn, to understand, to be able to grasp intellectually as human beings. This is what we do. But we've got to always remember that it's just a human construct. It's not, you know, the objective reality. So, <clears throat> the tree is in my body. <clears throat> okay, so we got that at the outset. That's, we, we have to start with that as a premise here um, for the work that we're going to do from, from this point forward. Now, <clears throat> the work that we have done with the gates so far, I've covered the first 60 gates of the Gra Tree of Life, there are 182 of them in total, so I've come a third of the way in the number of gates, but we've come this far in the tree itself. So we're well beyond halfway through, you know, the construction of the Tree of Life, but we've only come a third of the way in the number of gates, which gives you an indication of how complex things become. They become more and more complex as we, you know, progress down the tree. Okay? So, this is what we have done. Now, <clears throat> you know all of the, if you've done this, these gates, you know all of these paths, all of these connections, all of these movements of awareness. 
you you know them you you've traveled them you've performed the gates now another part of working a gate is not just working the gate the next step is to become the gate to hold in your awareness all of the sephirot involved all of those levels of awareness and all of the connections between those sephirot okay <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do today it's a special way of doing it here to celebrate what we have already accomplished this much work has been done this is the upper hexangle on the gate and the on the tree of life the complete upper hexangle all centered around tiferet okay now there is a lower hexangle all centered around yesod which we will come to in 120 more gates okay 122 more gates so <clears throat> This is where we've come. Now, this figure can be resolved into three six-pointed figures, okay? There's this figure, which is gate number 52, which we did recently. Okay, that's the first one. The second figure is a combination of gates 31, the upward pointing triangle, and gate 35, the downward pointing triangle. And now, the third six-pointed figure is a combination of six gates. This is seven sephirot and six paths, okay? It's gate number five, number six, number eight, number 15, number 22, and number 37. So we're going to work each one of these three figures as a gate. Only one of them is truly a gate. The triangles are a combination of two gates, and the six-pointed star is a combination of six gates, okay? So, <clears throat> let's go back to gate number 52, where we'll start. Now, <clears throat> initially, gate number 52, when we worked it, was one of the gates of Nun, of Scorpio, from Gebura to Yesod, okay? So it had a counterclockwise spin. That's every gate has a, a forward and backward movement. Forward goes with the flow of the initial path, which is always from upper to lower. So in this case, it was <coughs> Gebura into Yesod, is what initiated the gate. So, <clears throat> we're going to be doing it in the opposite rotation this time, because we're going to start from Kether and go to Kokma and progress around the gate in this direction. So, Kether, <clears throat> Aries, He, to Hokma, Gimel, Jupiter, to Gejula, Lamed, Libra, to Yesod, Nun, Scorpio, up to Gebura, Galeth, Mars, up to Bina, and Vav, Taurus, up to Cather, and then back around. Okay, that's the first time we do it. Then we go over to Hokma, and we start in Hokma and run the gate all the way around to Hakma and back around. And then we go Gajula and run the gate from there as well, back around. Then from Yesod, and we go 
around, then Gebura, and we go around, then Vina, and we go around. Okay? So we've done a full circuit <clears throat> multiplied. And what this does is it it's in our awareness now. All six of these sephirot and the paths that connect them. So what we are going to do now is hold all of that simultaneously in our awareness till we become that gate. Okay? You become the gate with your awareness. Your awareness is filled with these six sephirotic levels and these six connections. And you simply be the gate for a short while. Okay? And then we move on. We move on to the second figure with the two triangles. Now, working these two triangles together, <clears throat> so <clears throat> the upward pointing triangle, gate number 31, it was actually the uh, uh, triangle uh, starting in Gedjula and going to Gebura. It was a path of Aleph triangle, a gate from Aleph, okay? Yes, okay. So, so it has a clockwise flow. Its natural flow is clockwise, okay? So we're going to work that triangle in it with a clockwise clockwise flow. The downward pointing triangle was actually a gate from Bina to Netzach. I mean, from Bina to Yesod. Okay? So it naturally has a counterclockwise flow and we're going to be working that one in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, so we start with Kether. We take that hidden path right down to Gedjula. Follow the path of Aleph over to Gebura. And take that hidden path back up to Kether. And then back around. Then we go to Hokma. And we take the path of Hakma over to Bina, going in a counterclockwise direction, and from Bina the hidden path straight down to Yesod, and from Yesod straight up to Hakma, and then back around. Okay. Then we go down to Gedjula, and we work this gate in a clockwise direction. We go from Gedjula over to Gebura along the path of Aleph, straight up to Kether, and then straight down to Gedjula and back around. Then we come to Yesod, and we run the, the, this gate in a counter clockwise direction. We go from Yesod up to Hakma. Hakma over to Bina along the path of Shin, Bina down to Yesod and then back around. Then we come up to Gebura and we run it in a clockwise direction. We come Gebura all the way up to Kether, Kether down to Gejula, along the path of Aleph to Gebura, and then back around, okay? Then we come up to Bina, and we run it in a counterclockwise direction. We go Bina straight down to Yesod, Yesod straight up to 
to uh, <coughs> Hokma, Hokma over to Dino Long Aleph, and then back around. So we have mixed these two triangles moving in opposite directions with each other, and we hold that structure in our awareness. The two triangles together, two groups of three sephirot and three paths, all held simultaneously in the awareness. And then we move on. Now, this is a six-pointed formation, a combination of six different gates, six different paths, seven sephirot in total, Tiferet being the common sephirot in all of these gates. Okay. okay, we go from Kether down the path of Beth and Saturn into Tiferet. Then we go up the path of Zayin to Hokma, the path of uh, Gemini into Hokma, and then come back down. Then we go up the path of Heth, of Cancer, to Bina, and back down. Okay. Then we go down the path of Teth, of Leo, to Gedula, and back to Tiferet. Then we go down the path of Virgo, of Yod, to Gibura, and back. Then we go down the path of Resh, to Yesod, and we come back all the way through Tiferet, up the path of Beth and Saturn till we return to Kether. Okay. So we have followed the Sephiroth in, we have followed them in numerical order. Okay. All right. Now we do the reverse. We start in Yesa. We pass up the path of Resh to Tiferet, okay? Then we pass down the path of Virgo, <coughs> of Yod, into Gebura and back. The path down into Gedula and back. The path to Bina and back. The path to Hakma and back. The path to Kether. And then we come back down all the way down Saturn to Tiferet and continue on down Resh until we return to Yesar. Okay? So, this is all six of these gates, all together. Now, let them be in your body. You become this whole gate, this radiant Tiferet, basically. You are now this gate, okay? Hold that awareness of all those sephirot and all those paths. Now, add to that structure the two triangles. Let that also be part of your awareness. And hold that. Now, Add that first form, that surrounding circle that encases the whole form. So you are now all three of these six-pointed forms 
simultaneously you are the first 60 gates of the Gra Tree of Life. Now hold on to this awareness as long as you can. And when it's time, just let it dissipate. Now, <clears throat> that's very involved. It is, I know. And uh, it's going to be a challenge. But it's a worthy challenge. <laughs> um, first time you do it, you're going to be stumbling around. And it's going to be very disjointed. You'll be able to hold on to this, uh, you know, a gate within yourself uh, for only a few moments at a time. And that's perfectly okay. That's how it, you know, basically should be. <laughs> the second time, you won't be quite as lost. You'll be able to hold the, the you know, you, you'll have the idea, you know, of what it really means to hold a gate within yourself. So that will be easier. And it will linger a little more. The third time, you won't be stumbling. You will be, you know, self-directed, basically. Much more comfortable with holding the gate, and it will be much longer and more genuine. And when you get to the end with all three forms joined together, you will begin to really feel the changes that that makes in your awareness. It gives a certain stability to the awareness. And that is the goal. You know, ultimately, when you ideally reach the end of this working of 182 gates, you're going to, at that point, do the other, you know, hexagons, the other three, you know, uh, uh, six-pointed forms combined together, the lower hexagon. Then you're going to put those two hexagons together. And then finally, at the end, you're going to become the whole tree. And that is the goal of working the 182 gates, you become the tree, okay? So, have fun with this little uh, special gift. Uh, <laughs> so, I'll get back to the gates in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.